Hi, welcome to Marielle Beats and Beyond. Um, before the tutorial, I just want to show you this bangle that I created like um, back in April. I submitted to a magazine and I was so excited because they accepted. They just they told me I was gonna receive the contract and everything, but um, unfortunately, four four months later, like a week ago, they told me that they decide that they don't want it anymore. So um, I just wanna show it to you guys because I have the PDF available on my website www.marielbitsandbeyond.com, and I. I also have it on Etsy. Um, I'm preparing um uh, some kits. I'm gonna have available probably in these two colors. I I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna have more colors. Um, I wasn't really prepared uh to sell this because I was sure that it was gonna be uh published. So um, I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys go buy the PDF instructions. Okay, now let's talk about the tutorial. Um, I started to make this bracelet. Uh, somebody requested it's gonna match with the coral flower ring, but um, I didn't really pay attention and I didn't realize that I didn't have enough beads. Um, I wasn't really thinking and uh, this happens. I don't have enough beads to finish it, but I'm really excited about it. So I'm just gonna um, go ahead and post the uh, tutorial because it, it doesn't really make a difference for you guys uh, you can see right here how is it gonna look you just gotta finish it of course um, and I have uh, the ends done because I made a tutorial in Spanish and the one in English so um, I think it's really pretty I, I like it um, so I'm gonna have also the PDF available and I'm probably gonna have a a kit or two available probably like in the mauve color that I made for the ring and the white one. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Uh, the one thing you don't want to start this bracelet if you don't have at least 30 grams of uh, the main color like in this one my main color was orange and then I use the yellow if you've seen the video for the ring you know that we have a like yellow in between and then orange two fringes of orange so I did the mat and you need like 30 grams of one color the main color and you need like close to 20 grams of the other color and I'm gonna have all the materials you're gonna need in the description box and they're gonna be for a bracelet size, size 7 this bracelet is size 7 and um, I'm going to have um, different colors of uh, this uh, 6 millimeter fire polish available on my website so you can uh, make your own color combination I'm also gonna add some clasp um, I still gotta add some bicons. I have a lot of products that I'm gonna be adding to my website. I just haven't had the time, but I'm gonna try to do that as soon as possible. So, for thread, you're gonna need a lot of thread. You're gonna see ahead in the video that I made separate the um, I made the base, and for that I use. 110 inches of fire line, I believe and then for the rest of the uh, to add your fringes you're gonna need like 720 inches of fire line so that's a lot of thread um, and I come up with that those amounts because like for this it's like um, an inch it's eight um, of the eight O's they had I is I used two arm spam which was like 116 inches of fire line so it's gonna be a lot of trick so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial to start I'm gonna show you how to make the base for the bracelet which is this one and you're gonna need 101 inches of fire line to make the base you're gonna pick up two eight o's one six millimeter 
and four eight o's. You are going to bring them down and you want to leave 12 inches tail to add your clasp. You are going to sew through the last four eight o's that you add and you're going to pull. And now you are going to sew down through the fire polish. And this is what you're gonna have. You are going to pick up two eight holes and you thread it's coming out of the fire polish we are going to sew down through the two eight holes we are going to pull and we are going to sew down through the two that we just add and we are going to pull tight And this is what you should have. You are going to pick up two AOs and we are going to sew down through the last two we just add. And we are going to pull. And we are going to so up through the two that we just add. We are going to pick up six millimeter and two eight holes. Our thread coming out of this one. We are going to sew down through the two on the opposite side, like this. And then we're gonna sew up through the two. And this is what you should have. We are going to pick up two eight O's and we are going to sew up through the two. And we are going to pull tight. And now we are going to sew down through the two that we just add and through the fire polish and pull tight and this is what you should have from now on there are going to be the same steps so if you need to rewind the video so you can um, watch the steps again we're going to pick up two eight poles and we are going to sew up through these two and back down this is what you should have so continue repeating these steps until you get the length you need for your bracelet and I'll be right back to show you how to add your clasp your thread should be exit out of this um, Eight holes. So what we're gonna do to add our clasp, we are going to sew through these two, and we are going to sew through the six millimeter. Sew through these two, and sew down through these two. What we are gonna do right now, pick up seven eleven holes we are going to pick up our clasp and we are going to pick up three more 11 offs and we are going to skip three C beads one two three and we are going to sew through the next two and 
and we are going to pull and this is what you're gonna have pick up two 11 o's and go after the sexy right here we are going to sew through these two on the other side and we have our clasp ready okay so right now all we gotta do is reinforce to reinforce you're gonna sew down through these two and the one thing I like you to do right here, you don't have to, you can just sew through the six millimeter, sew through these two, and then down through these two, and then you're on the way to reinforce. What I like to do because I want these seed beads to be um, really close to my six millimeter, what I'm going to do right here, it's I'm going to sew, I'm coming out of the uh, six millimeter, I'm going to sew up through these two 11 O's. And then I'm going to reinforce. I'm gonna go up through all this. And I'm gonna sew through the clasp and down through this three, down through the next two. And through the next two and I'm flipping my work okay so you don't get confused and then reinforce um, only from one side so you gotta make sure you're reinforcing for both sides so I'm coming out of the 11 oh, what I will do right here is just sew through the a six millimeter and right here I would like to go like two times around the other way and then another time just from the six millimeter so go ahead and reinforce and i'll be right back to show you how to start adding the fringes for the bracelet i already reinforced five times so the one thing i want to mention is to cut your threads you only want to make your knots before you're going through a six millimeter so the knot gets into the six millimeter because right here like if we make a knot coming out of the six millimeter the knot will get into these beads and we are going to use those seed beads to add the fringes so we don't want to block them so right here you just gotta pass and then come down and then you can make another knot right here because then it'll the knot will go into the six millimeter so i just want to mention that so you don't make the a mistake and block your seed beads and then you're gonna have trouble um, adding your fringes the way I like to add my thread right here is the tail for the um, the thread that I use for the bracelet and I add the clasp what I like to do is I like to sew through this six millimeter uh, by the way I started with um, I just added two arm spams which is like 116 inches of thread you probably gonna have to add more so this is the way you want to add it or just sew through the beads we are going to sew up through the seed beads remember we want to make knots only if we make sure that the thread the knot is going to go into the six millimeter we don't want any knots blocking our seed beads so we are going to sew down through these two and right here we can make a knot because the knot broke, it will go into the six millimeter And we pull and now we can go through this six millimeter and we are one we want to go up through the seed beads we are going to sew down through the seed, uh, seed beads and right here we can make another knot I'm 
I'm gonna sew through the six millimeter. And right here, I'm going to sew up through these two and then I'm in position to start adding my fringes. Um, the one thing I need you to do is if you don't know how to make them, you need to go watch the video on how to make the ring because there are the same steps. And um, to make it easier, I'm not going to go in uh, really slow right here because like I said, you can go and watch the video for the um, how to make the uh, the ring you are going to pick up seven seed beads six of your main color and one on a different color okay you're gonna bring them down you're gonna skip the yellow one and you're gonna sew down through two like i said if you don't know how to make this you need to go watch the video on how to make the ring it's gonna be the same steps to make the fringes you're gonna pick up three you're gonna skip one and you're gonna sew down through two and then come down through two more and remember you want to keep your tension tight you're gonna pick up five and you're gonna bring them down and skip one and sew down through two pick up three bring them down skip one and sew down through two 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 more out of the four and then through the two of the center and down through one of the eight o's and this is what you should have you are going to pick up now the other color and there's going to be the same steps so you can go ahead and do it i'm not going to show you how we need six of one color and one of the other color this is what we need go ahead and repeat the same steps right here and i'll be right back to show you the next step okay right here i'm adding my last three You are going to skip one, you're going to sew through two, then down through two more, and through the last two of the center beads. And right here, we are coming out of this seed bead. We are going to sew through the next eight O. And right here, we are going to add our next one, which is going to be orange. So it's the same steps. Go ahead and do another one, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done with my um, fringe so you are exit out of this last seat bead so we are going to go up through the next two eight holes and all we have to do right now is repeat these steps in all the seat beads so right here we need to add another fringe coming out of this seat bead add a yellow one and then an orange one all the way until you finish on this side and then we need to repeat the steps on this side so continue um adding your fringes well like i told you when i start this tutorial i didn't have enough beads to finish the bracelet but uh, you can get an idea of how it's gonna look because it's just gonna look the same 
uh, like right here so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was easy to follow along if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and like my videos until next time bye bye